What is going on guys, Miles here and today we're going to be looking at the Call of Duty Days of Summer event which is an event for Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered as well as Black Ops 3, let's do this. This event actually started today for Modern Warfare Remastered as well as Infinite Warfare uh, but Black Ops 3 is slightly delayed until July 11th and I don't think they have a like an end date for this event but I'm gonna guess maybe like early August this thing will end and they released the trailer with this thing which I won't bother showing because it's a bit of a weird one but we'll start with Infinite Warfare there's a picture on screen right now of gifts and items you can earn I'm pretty sure for free but I don't actually know about that one we have a couple of camos which look pretty cool uh, as you can see on the left hand side we have this orange looking thing as well as I think that's like a fireworks camo the second one but I can't quite tell and then we have two blue camos at the bottom which could be the same thing but I don't know why they would showcase the same camo twice so maybe they're different camos I don't really know exactly and then on the right hand side we have some emblems and calling cards we have some uh, calling cards of people at the beach and we also have this cool looking new emblem which I'm a big fan of and I would like to get that one and we can get ourselves a weapon accessory of someone like licking an ice cream or something Bit of a weird one, not sure if I'll use it, but if it's free content, I will take it. And finally, as well, on the right-hand side, there seems to be some sort of reticle you can get, uh, but it looks quite strange, and I can't exactly make out what it is right now. Like I said earlier, I'm not exactly sure how you get these camos and calling cards right now, but they did mention that if you log in on Monday, you can get a free supply drop, and that's every Monday for the next couple of weeks, I imagine. And also, if you log in every Wednesday and Friday, you can get a free item, uh, which they didn't really mention what it is. Maybe that is the camo or the calling cards. Not really 100% sure, but you should probably log on tomorrow as this video goes up, because you will be getting some free loot. As well as all these items, there is a Days of Summer supply drop in Infinite Warfare, which I'm not exactly sure how it's different from the other supply drops. They didn't really mention it. Uh, maybe that is what includes these camos, but I hope that's not the case, but it could possibly be, because I would like that blue camo. I think it looks pretty sick, as well as the orange camo as well. Uh, but it might be locked behind these supply drops. I'm not really sure about that as of yet. As well as new camos and calling cards, there are also new playable characters in the game, some of which you probably will recognise from some of the campaigns in previous Infinity Ward Call of Duties. We have some characters from the Infinite Warfare campaign who I don't know because I haven't played it, uh, although I'm pretty sure the robot looking dude is Ethan from the campaign, but I don't exactly know who the other guys are. And as well as the Infinite Warfare campaign, we have two people from the Modern Warfare 2 campaign, the first one being Price and the second one being Ghost, two absolutely legendary characters in the Call of Duty franchise, and I'm pretty happy to see them in Infinite Warfare. And finally, if you guys don't have DLC 2 in Infinite Warfare, then you'll still be able to play the Tourista map for free, which I've played it a little bit, it's a pretty fun map, and it's quite cool to see them giving away maps for like limited events, uh, so you guys can try out this map if you don't have the DLC already. Moving on to Modern Warfare Remastered, the first thing we have is a remade map of Bog called Beach Bog. Uh, which is basically a remodeled version where it's set on a beach as you would probably imagine from the name and it looks a lot better than the original bog in my opinion it's a lot more bright so it may be easier to see people but I'm not a huge fan of this map personally and as I'm recording this video I haven't actually played beach bog because I'm currently installing the update which is a bit of a big one but I will have gameplay of it in the background one cool thing about Beach Bog is that you can play Prop Hunt on this map and they've actually got new prop items which you can play as on this map so that'll be a lot of fun because people won't really know how this map layout works in terms of like items and stuff so it's going to be really hard to actually figure out who the props are on this remade version of Bog. As well as Bog there's also a new supply drop called Operation Copperhead uh, which you can get a free supply drop for logging on each week similar to the last operation in Modern Warfare Remastered so that's kind of nice but I'm not sure exactly what's in this supply drop bundle as of right now. I'm going to guess there's probably some new DLC weapons in the game which I'll be covering very soon. And finally, for Black Ops 3, we don't really have much information about this event as of right now because it has been delayed until July 11th. Uh, but we do know there will be a limited edition Pack-a-Punch camo which you can use in multiplayer, which I guess is going to be the Zetsubu no Shima Pack-a-Punch because I'm pretty sure we have all the camos for the other Zombies maps already. Uh, but I don't think we do have the Zetsubu camo, so that'll be pretty fun to use in multiplayer. And if you guys don't have the Awakening DLC, you'll be able to use it for free during this event.
But that just about sums up everything we know about the Days of Summer event in Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered as of right now. Let me know which game you're going to be playing down in the comments below and if you guys find this video useful, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty but I'll see you guys in my next video.